Thank you guys so much for coming. I don't Wait, just... I stand up here. It's my place. I don't get applause as soon as she walks up here. <laughs> to be here to celebrate the um, very important 28th anniversary of the uh, Mike Risco music, right? 28th, everybody, yay for 28th. We're not sure, but we're all going to start celebrating on, on the 8th. Um, and also the Sweet 16 of the 16th time that you've been best something, best music, best this, best that, in uh, Westchester Magazine. As uh, the new state assembly woman representing the district, it is my great honor and privilege to present Ike and Miriam with this New York State Assembly citation, recognizing them for all of the good work that they do throughout the communities in the 95th Assembly District, not just here in Osnane, but I've seen them in Yorktown. I've seen them in Cortland. I think they played in Croton. They might have even played in Peekskill for all I know. All I know is that, and definitely Briarcliff, not to mention um, the great partnership that they had with the town of Osnane. Your uh, concert series at the waterfront, the summer concert series, now known as Austin River Jam, for the last couple of summers, maybe man, many, many summers, even one during COVID that we had our Friday night yeah. uh, Zoom concert series, virtual concert series. Virtual concert series. We, we did it, we've done it all, and you guys have been great partners for, again, for so many municipalities. You're great uh, community advocates, and obviously, you are here for the families of uh, communities that you serve and supporting music and supporting the arts, theater, and everything else in between. Um, we are grateful. You're a great local business, and none of us could be more grateful to have you here and continue to keep music alive and kicking in uh, in all these communities and certainly in Austin. So thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So when I was in maybe 11th grade of high school in like 1984, I was pumping gas in a gas station in Yorktown where I grew up, and in between pumping gas, I would practice guitar. I had my acoustic guitar, which is actually in my office, the same one still, and this guy came in <clears throat> to get gas one day, and I, I had seen him in there before. I didn't know who he was, and he had all these really nice cars and stuff, and he uh, took out like a $1,000 Fender Stratocaster and said, hey kid, come here a second, I want you to borrow this. And I said, wow, for what? And he said, well, I own a music store in Austin, and I want you to just borrow this, because I see you practicing that acoustic. And he gave me an amp, too. <clears throat> I said, okay. And he said, I'll be back in like a month to get it. So I took it home, and my mother said, would you steal this from And I said, no, I swear to God, this guy gave it to me in the gas station. And so that was Bob Galassi, who used to own the Austin Music Center. Um, he came back in a month to get it, I gave it back to him, and then he said, he asked me to work here, work for him, which I declined at the time, but I said, if you need a teacher, I would be interested in teaching. So about a year later, he found me. I forgot how that part happened. And I wound up teaching here for a while. And uh, they would close at six, and then I would drive around and give lessons. And actually, Miriam was one of my students. I used to go, and Ruth over here used to pay me, I think, right? Is that how that worked? Um, and you still owe us some lessons. Yeah, I still owe you some lessons. You got some makeups coming. So, uh, and, uh, and then uh, Bob was really nice and he said, listen, why don't you open a music school? You can take all your students and go open somewhere and I'm not gonna have any more teachers here. And I said, you don't have to do that, it's really nice. We wound up doing that, I moved down the street, opened the music school, Miriam joined me shortly after that and we built that place up pretty big. Bob and I, we had this great relationship. We'd send people up here for equipment and he'd send people down there for lessons. And, um, and then he wanted to uh, retire, I'm sorry. Um, and so, anyway, we made a deal in building, and we moved in here, and we gutted this place, and it was uh, quite a project. It was really, really fun. So we came in here, we kept the school down there for a while. We came in here, we gutted this whole room, and then we uh, moved the school up here, basically overnight, with about 27 trips with our minivan. And then we- And eight pianos. Eight pianos, yeah, it was really out of control. Uh, and then we rebuilt the store, but anyway, here we are now, 28 years later, and we're, uh, here also because of all you guys too. So we really appreciate everybody. Thank you.
take one moment of your time, um, interrupt the music, to congratulate Mike and Miriam on 28 years in business and so, I want to congratulate you on being our new town supervisor. Oh. So, hold on. This is, her, this is my very first proclamation as town oh, wow. supervisor. And wow. I'm so and I'm really honored good. that my longtime Austin friends, old school friends, get to be here, get to be the recipients. So, whereas Mike and Miriam Risper, community members, beloved local musicians, and inspiring teachers whose work through Ms. Mike Briscoe Music School has served students young and old since its founding in 1995. No, don't date yourself. Um, whereas now with over 28 years in business, the school is a mainstay in Austin, having moved from its original second and third floor location down the street to a larger building with parking and outdoor space. And whereas throughout the years, the business and its owners have extended their skills as educators for various events designed to instill love of music, including their annual Make Music Day, twice a year, children's theater productions, selection and coordination, musicians for the town summer concert series, and innovations for community members to enjoy songs and celebration of local parades and events. Or be it resolved, I, Elizabeth Feldman, supervisor of the town of Austin, with the enthusiastic support of the Austin Town Board, congratulate Mike and Miriam Risco on the celebration of the 28th anniversary of the Mike Risco Music School and their 16th straight Best in Westchester Sweet 16 award and then for their continued service to the Austin community. And that January 7th, tomorrow, be named Mike Risco Music School Day in the town of Austin in recognition for all they do for the community. <laughs> Usually we find out about the day that night. So I'm so excited that tomorrow is our day. Get a whole pile. Imagine there's no time. Thank you. 